Hi there, this is the Derivatives 3 Examples, and uh, let's start off with a simple situation, y equals 5x minus, say, 1. Alright, so as we break it down, we're going to have d dx of, right, 5x, right, minus d dx of, one. Well, derivative of 5x is just 5 minus 0. And that equals 5. Notice that we used the um, that's the power rule right here. And this is the constant. Very good. So let's just break it down to the next one. Y equals, let's say, x squared plus 3x minus 4. All you have to do is essentially the same thing. What, what is uh, the derivative of this? Well, d over dx of x squared plus d over dx of 3x minus d over dx of 4. This all equals 2x plus 3 minus 0 equals 2x plus 3. And that's your solution. We can work through the next one. y equals I don't know, one fourth uh, x to the fourth power plus eight. Notice how you can just kind of view everything in here as one thing. Well, this one fourth is just a constant multiplier. Constant. So, all you have to do is pull that out. The derivative of it is one fourth as you can see, multiply it outside, and then everything that's inside of it. So, that would be 4x cubed plus 0. Or, if you work out the arithmetic, you'll notice that essentially this 4 and this 1 fourth kind of cancel each other out, and all you have is x to the third power. Kind of neat. Uh, let's do something... Let's do something with a natural exponent, right? Uh, 15e to the x plus 3. Sure. Um, as we work through this, notice that this is just a constant multiplier, right? Constant. Sorry about my right handwriting. So all you have to realize is you pull the 15 out. Then what's the derivative of e to the x? It's just e to the x itself, right, it equals itself, plus the derivative of 3, which is 0. So notice that the solution is just 15e to the x. Alright, um, let's see. I bet you, you're going to run into this kind of situation sometimes, which you're not going to know how to solve it right away. What that is, that's square root of x times x minus 1. Now, for our case, we do not know how to do this. We do not know how to take the derivative of a multiplication or a product, which you'll learn what that is later. So what we have to do is we have to just play with it, just like you did in algebra, to make it a situation that we are familiar with. So let's just multiply this through. We'll distribute it through. And that should make things simple enough. So x, uh, square root of x times x is x3 over 2 minus x1 half, right? So then, if we take the derivative of that, you just do them individually. You work out the power rule, 3 over 2 x squared, 3 over 2 minus 1 is just 1 half, right? Minus 
1 half x, 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. You can clean that up. I trust you. Uh, let's do something really just nasty. Um, here's one. Let's, uh, let's just do this. Uh, y equals 3 over 5, uh, 2x squared plus 24x minus 2, right? But then how about minus 7e to the x as well? Okay, so that's kind of big and nasty, but you realize it's just really systematic. 3 over 5 is the multiplier out front, so we'll just leave it out there. And then we're going to do everything all together. 2 times 2 is going to be 4 over uh, 4x plus 24x. The derivative of 24x is just 24. The derivative of 2 is 0, and the derivative of um, 7 e to the x power is going to be just that 7 e to the x power unchanged and I'm going to leave it in this form but realize that you can just multiply it through I just wanted to show you that even though a problem can look big and intimidating you know big and intimidating uh, it, it, it it's still easy Well, anyway, I'm going to finish this up, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.